All right. Okay. Ready. Begin. <laughs> is this cha cha slide? <laughs> <laughs> One hop this time. <laughs> <laughs> Do the backslide, y'all. <laughs> <clears throat> Two hops this time. Boom, boom. Slide. Now clap your hands. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. <laughs> Boys and girls, the TCS Network brings to you the Charity Strike. And now, here are the boys that put the big D back into douchebag. Trigger Mike, Midlife Crisis, and Rebound. Oh, yeah. That is right. Welcome in, everybody. Yeah. It's Charity Strike. <clears throat> Warm up over there. <clears throat> but don't fear, because when we're done, we're going to Charity Stroke. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's funny again this week. <laughs> yeah. Last week wasn't so good. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it, it was my delivery. Don't worry. <laughs> this I gotta, week, though. i got to take a Twitter video next week of him laughing to your joke. It's the greatest thing. Just because it's see so his ridiculous? tongue, like, vibrating. Oh, you like my tongue vibrating. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm a little uh, disgusted over here. I wish I was around that. It's my father you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he sure is. That's gross. <laughs> he is your daddy. Yeah. Where? <laughs> Sparkless guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, welcome to the show. Grace Rebound Jones, making it awkward over there. That's uh, Trigger Mike. Monday Mike Raw. And uh, AKA Baby Daddy. <laughs> and next to, right. <laughs> next to him, that's uh, Midlife Crisis. What's up, bitches? I'm very excited because today, tonight, whatever it is, we have a, uh, a new walkout game. Nice. We'll be playing the, the walkout game again with baseball walkout music. You know, baseball, not the most fun of sports in the world, but uh, doing their best to bring in a little wrestling culture to the sport so I can I can be down with that. You got to do something. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I got some basketball news. J.R. Right. Smith likes cotton candy, baseball playoffs, drunk football coaches who want to hang out with the charity strike, mm-hmm. and all that good stuff. But before we get into that, we got to get into, into him. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what it is. Urban Devil, Urban Devil, It's the worst remix I've ever heard. <laughs> See, someone's been practicing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was really Even good. when he's not here. <laughs> yeah. He gets in the mirror. <laughs> He'll sing it along with yeah. the podcast. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he's warming up. Woo! Getting that voice going. <laughs> Ma! Breaking news, you're down 1.6 points now. Philip Rivers on the drive is getting it back for you. Nice. On the drive. Okay. On the drive. Yeah. Fine. For anyone that's uh, running what that means, Greg is playing John in fantasy football this San week. San Diego Johnny. Down only 1.6 points right now. 1.6. How are you doing, Mike? <laughs> yep. And who are you playing? <laughs> Less than 60 now. Oh, okay. To Dan. Hey, if I'm going to lose to someone, I, I don't mind it being Dan. Oh, okay. I don't. I already got mad that I lost to Eva, but Dan, I don't mind losing. I know. Okay. I lost to Eva, too, and that was fucking horrendous. I beat John oh, last wow. week. That was a moral victory. Next week, I got Greg. I, I got to beat him. That'll yeah, be a moral victory. you got to do that. But uh, I don't mind losing to you. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's nice to know. Wow. Got That's that out special. of the way. Yeah. There's a little respect in yeah. this room. Yeah. yeah. No respect for the women, though. We're much better than they are. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I lost to a girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah. did you write last week? Huh? Didn't you lose to her last I week? I did, yeah. 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 Oh, I'm man. saying I feel your pain. Mm-hmm. Your co- our collective pains yeah. in this room Cl- are... Pain? Yeah. Uh, it's like uh, period cramps over here. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I never thought welcome. I knew what that felt like, but now I do. Yeah. I do now. Sorry, ladies. Thanks to Eva. It yeah. does hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I had a... Uh, <laughs> Tampon in my ass. I was about to say, <laughs> are you guys still sitting down to pee? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. You did. Oh, yes, man. A lot, so. Uh, anyways, all right, let's talk a little sports. Let's get into the big balls. You love basketball. You love basketball to say, yeah. Yeah. I love basketball. You love basketball say, That's his fake voice because, uh, <laughs> you know. Well, I was about to say, I love when Moses Malone joins in. <laughs> <laughs> That's my making babies voice right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be pregnant, bitch. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man, your girlfriend got fucked by the Kool Aid man. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Put his red shirt on, walked in the room. <laughs> it's baby time. <America> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, if it comes out red, I know what happened. <laughs> Ooh. Yikes. Just be careful if it comes out black. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Like, huh? If it comes out black, I can't blame her. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. There's like a smile indentation on the mattress <laughs> <laughs> where he was. Because, <laughs> you know, it's on the picture. Yes. <laughs> oh, Get it? We're calling him fat. <laughs> huh? How dare you? 
Uh, anyway, so Gil- uh, Gilbert Arenas, Michael Crittenton, you thought that story was over. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Karan Butler is coming out with a new book, and he talks about the incident. First of all, who knew Karan Butler was smart enough to write a book? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not smart enough to get on a good team. That's true. That's true. Just saying. Uh, in the book, he describes the scene uh, pre, pre-gun, what, what caused it all. He says the two of That's them... That's what caused the pregnancy. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Pre-gun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the two of them kept arguing as we buckled up for the landing. They were still going at it when we all got in the airport shuttle van to take us to our vehicles. Ernie Grunfield, the team president, leaned over to me and said in a pleading manner, talk to them. I did, I told them. But they keep arguing. Sounds like children. <laughs> they keep arguing. <laughs> Everyone could hear Gilbert and Javaris. Uh, oh, I called him Michael. <laughs> Javaris, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> going yeah. at it as we rode along. I'll see your bitch ass at practice. Ooh. And I added the bitch part. And you know what I do, Gilbert said. What the fuck you mean? You know what I do, replied Javaris. I play with guns. Zip. Well, I play with guns too. Extra zip. <laughs> so apparently, this is all over eleven hundred dollars. They were playing uh, some card games, and they were gambling. And it was eleven hundred dollar pot that they started wow. arguing over, and uh, this led to them losing their careers essentially. Should just punch him in the face. Right, like yeah. real men. Yeah. That's right. Why is everybody got to be such a bitch? <laughs> Sissy fighting. That's right. So quick to pick up a gun. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> Look, Crittenden was just ahead of Back his time. Back then, this is all we had. <laughs> <laughs> it's a duel. <laughs> <laughs> That would be uh, a great scene if it was actually them, like, it's a duel. They went back to back and, like, took five steps, and then the coach came in and stopped it, obviously. <laughs> 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 the uh, brush rolls by. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of a real fight <laughs> amongst real men, oh. Matt Barnes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Derek Fisher. Yeah, oh, there we man. go. Real men, real fighting. That's who we're talking this about. This one I approve of. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. So apparently, D. Fish is boinking Matt Barnes' baby mama. Speaking of maybe baby mamas. Boink. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, they divorced, and D. Fish and his wife divorced back in March. Well, Matt Barnes was FaceTiming with his kids who were at their mom's house, and he said it looked like something was wrong, and uh, they weren't acting right. And uh, one of them said, Mom's da- or mom's friend Derek is over. And uh, Matt Ooh. Barnes at that point is got... Lander? <laughs> yes. <laughs> got in his car, could not turn blue left. still in here, Daddy. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. <laughs> um, what's, what's the friend's name? Uh, Hansel. Hansel, yeah. Hansel, he's so hot right yeah, now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> a little three-way action. Hansel. Uh, anyway, so he got in his car and he drove over. Now, reports initially said he drove from L.A. to Santa Barbara, which is like 100 miles, to go beat up Derek Fisher. Matt Barnes said, no, I didn't. I'm not a crazy person. I drove like 15 <laughs> minutes. Yeah, I Ubered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were just across town from each other. He said he drove 15 yeah. minutes to go beat up Derek Fisher. Oh, man. He's like, shout out to Midlife. Got me here quick. Yeah, that's right. Up. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go kick Derek's ass. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Had beer in the car for me. Oh, yeah. yeah that's right. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what ends up happening. I'm all for it. I don't see why everybody is so up in arms about this. Well, yeah. I, I think I, the only problem I have with it is that uh, does he not know like his like baby mom is a hoe? Yeah. I know, right. like, no not. show. It seems like everyone that becomes like Matt Barnes' friend, like the game, the rapper, the game, like <laughs> mm-hmm. he boinked his ex wife, too. Like, everyone, <laughs> really? Like, really? <laughs> yeah, like, I wonder if she's like worth the trouble at this point. Like, yeah, if she's, she's pretty boinked, fucking hot. If, if she, she really? boinked Matt yeah. Barnes, do you think she makes great decisions? That's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This guy's thug for life. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like, so many people like get to know him and they meet his wife at the mm-hmm. time, and now it's like they're all over it. Yeah. Like, it's you like know? LeBron's mom. She's just that damn hot, <laughs> oh, right? Oh, my God. She was uh, on Basketball Wives. Oh, yeah. yeah. What was that, her name? That tells you all you need to know about her character. Yeah. Derek Toll. Gloria, yeah, Gloria Govan. Oh, Govan. Eh? Govan, yeah. yeah if, yeah. Uh, Daniel, if you could just twist over a little oh, bit. Yeah. She's oh, yeah. She's got fantastic side boob. Nice side boob, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. dang, Derek hit that? That's amazing. And Matt Barnes <laughs> oh, man. and hit the game. Derek face. <laughs> I think last so, year half the Clippers roster hit that. Exactly. So Matt Barnes is an asshole, but people become his friend just to hit his wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, Matt, you want to be friends? Hey, That's buddy. right. That's right. Hey, buddy, why don't you go to L.A. and I'll uh, <laughs> see if your kid's okay. Yeah. yeah. Let me check on your kids for you. Yeah. Zip. <laughs> Anyways, speaking of bitches, James Harden bruises his knee against the Magic this week. Oh, poor, poor guy. Was he yeah. wearing his Adidas this time? At least? 
<laughs> he got fined no, for I, wearing Air Jordans. Is, is he still allowed to wear uh, Jordans for a little bit longer? Is, <laughs> it, is it over now? I think it's over. I, don't know I how would how think by the time preseason started, you'd I, have to. I would, think October yeah. 1st was when he had to start so wearing when that. when preseason started? Probably. Yeah. He's got to knock it off. Yeah. Knock it off with your shoe collection, right? <laughs> That's right. Uh, and also, Derek Rose. Derek Rose. Same thing. Dwight Howard. I was reading Derek Rose. Dwight Howard uh, said that during the Western Conference Finals last year, he had a... He fucked Matt Barnes' wife? That <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she fucked him. Oh, yeah, right. I was about to say. <laughs> In the butt. Uh, he had a, a knee injuries. Oh, no. Both knees, oh, yeah. Shit. Playing MCL. through a tear or something. Yeah, playing through an MCL tear. It was so sure. bad, he never said anything and never had surgery. Yeah. Must have been a horrible right? injury. Fuck? It's self-healed? <laughs> mm-hmm. What the fuck's he doing? What a man. And it healed as the playoffs went on. Like, well, yeah. He got healthier as the playoffs went on. He is too. Superman, yeah. apparently. True. Uh-huh. He took Shaq's advice and got some of those icy hot thermal wraps. There you <laughs> go. Yeah, that healed everything. Oh, yeah. Uh, if Derek- he played just as well as when he's healthy with a bum knee, then what the hell is ex- his excuse when he's healthy? Yeah. That's what I want to know. Mm-hmm. He must need some a- adversity. Yeah. It's yeah. the same Dwight Howard to me. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I couldn't tell the difference. Still garbage. a bitch. Yeah. Yes. Still a bitch. Agreed. Uh, Derek Rose, speaking of bitches, <laughs> could oh, yeah. be cleared for activity within a week. And well, that's be good news. To uh, return within a few weeks. Oh, great! They might have him in time for the start of the season to just injure himself again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll be something else this time. Yeah, don't don't uh, get that suit dry clean just yet. <laughs> You're gonna need it soon enough. That's right. At what point do you drop the guy? That's what I said, man. I'm telling you, Phoenix needs to pick him up and like, yeah. put their magic hands on him. <laughs> we do need a point guard, yeah. that's for sure. Make him an all-star that's again. Right. It's it's the one thing Phoenix is good at. That's it's, right. Uh, rehabbing old people. He's I, not even old. Just right. rehabbing people. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Grant Hill, Shaq. I mean, mm-hmm. their record speaks for itself. Well, Mark. they kept Steve Nash together. Exactly. Yeah. As soon as he yeah. fucking yeah. left, he <laughs> fell apart. Yeah, Tom trash. Chambers has a resurgence in Phoenix and everything, too. Oh, yeah. Back in the day. That's right. Old school. Mm-hmm. It's that Arizona weather. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's good on the joints. Barkley stayed healthy. That's right. Got hurt in Houston the next year, so got fat in Houston. Yeah, yeah. yeah. got fat everywhere. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and speaking of fat, J.R. Smith buys some cotton candy while on the bench during a preseason. Oh my God. he was hungry. God. He was hungry. He walked. I have a picture. He walked up into the stands, bought two cotton candies, and handed one to a fan, and sat on the bench and ate the other. He's still in Cleveland. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, Cleveland obviously. resigned this guy instead of Tristan Thompson. Mm-hmm. Mind you. Yep. And then, like, the, I figured it was Cleveland because David Bly's not going to tell him anything. No. He's like, right. oh, is this what happens in the NBA? Okay. Yeah, this is normal, right? Yeah. Kind of candy? I have but, no idea what I'm doing. What I wonder is, where did he get his money? Where do you keep your money when you're playing basketball in your little basketball shorts? Mm. That's a good question. Yeah, was it, like, sweaty it and smelly? Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, and what right do you the need it are. for? Are you paying off the refs? Or? Yeah. <laughs> During preseason? Not anymore. I was uh, bought cotton candy. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Maybe it was a habit. He always gets his money out, and he's like, oh, shit. What am I going to do with it now? <laughs> <laughs> Handed one of those cotton candies to Joey Crawford. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he hey. trip over trying to eat it. He's <laughs> like, I have pink hair now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate that guy. Me too. Anyways, uh, lots of news for basketball. Not really. But you guys should go download a free audiobook from Audible. Hell yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, since basketball's so boring, go listen I to know. an audio I wish the season would fucking start already. Yes. I know. Uh, Steve Nash hasn't injured himself yet. Oh, wait. He's not playing. Derek Rose hasn't come back and injured himself yet. <laughs> not well, yet. Dwight Howard hasn't whined about anything hey, the yet. Lakers except for last year. A, they won a game. Against some foreign they? team. Oh, yeah. Some <laughs> <laughs> and they whipped the shit out of them. Yeah. <laughs> Can't beat the you know anybody else in the NBA. Yeah. But, uh, hey, you come from fucking Botswana, wherever they came that's from. That's right. We're going to kick Send them ass. back. That's right. Yeah, I think they all had to, to walk over here to play the Lakers. So they're <laughs> four out. Like, <laughs> they all had to link to a little oh, life man. raft. And they didn't even have a basketball team in their country. They just got a bunch of the people together. Yep. So, hey, let's go play the. We made them look so bad. Oh, man. That nice. could be our, our brag for the year. Yeah, but. <laughs> We're, we're getting our ass kicked now, but with that yeah. one team, man, we, we did win a we game by like their 50. Ass. Yeah, yeah, that's Tip right. to any Laker player right now. Now is the time to demand a trade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you looked great last night. Yeah, yeah. No. Demand that trade. Just don't go to that foreign team. <laughs> yeah. They're really bad. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be a star player. Uh, well, it can't get a whole lot worse than Lakers, especially if you got one of their players. I mean, That's true. Might bring them down. Anyways, where was I? Oh. AudibleTrial.com. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Slash audiobook. charity strike. Audibletrial.com slash charity strike. Free audiobook download. No cost to you, but, uh, you know, try it because it helps us out. And we're begging. We're, begging. we're on the verge of uh, sucking dick for money over here. Yeah, you already listened to podcasts. Listen on the verge. to books, too. Yeah, listen to books. Yeah. 
Losers read. Anyways, let's talk little balls. Mm -hmm. Now there's lots of teams throughout this land, but I'm proud to be a Cubby fan. Believe me, 84 was just the start. We're going to bring a pennant to this park. Hey, I'm a Cub fan. Cubs fan. 